morning, everyone from Snowmass, Colorado. We are so excited to be here. And we just got checked in into our hotel and we're just getting ready to get out and go to lunch. So we'll give you like a full like house tour of this place. And oh my gosh, it's snowing! We just got the cutest little thing. I feel so spoiled. This is so cute. What do we got in here? We have some. Oh, this looks. This is what I'm going for. That Chewy looks yummy. We got loads of. Tree. Oh wait, is this hand sanitizer? Oh, how cool! I'm gonna bring that with us. That is going in the pocket. Got some chapstick and some mints and some hot cocoa. Man, we're gonna have a nice like movie night or s trail snacks or something. This is awesome. We are getting ready to head to lunch right now. The flight here was perfect. It's snowing outside. It looks, it looks magical. Cool. And the airport was like the easiest thing we've ever done. And our shuttle driver was so helpful and so awesome. Great first impressions. Yeah, so yeah. we're excited. We're gonna go check out two spots for lunch and see which one looks more appetizing. Here we go. Yeah. We just finished eating up lunch. It was so good. Yeah, so the restaurant we went to is called Vanga Vanga, and it's a Mexican restaurant right in the, in the heart of the ski area. So you take the gondola up from Snowmass Village. I got the tacos and a margarita in the tableside guac. Ugh, oh, chef's kiss. It was so good. Yeah, the margaritas were really, really good there. Highly recommend checking out if you're looking for some Mexican food. We are now going to be doing the rim trail. The south rim trail up to, they call it the yin yang. Um, so yeah, apparently it's some pretty good views of the area. So it's about a 2.7 miles out and back. So everyone here is skiing right now. So we basically have the hiking trail all to ourselves, which is really nice. So mm -hmm. excited to go take a look. The elevation. I feel the elevation. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get started. <laughs> Point, aka yin yang. It's supposed to be a viewpoint, but I don't know how much we're gonna see. We made it. The weather here changes very frequently, is what I've heard. And let me tell you, four hours in, I understand. <laughs> All right, guys. When we started hiking, it was beautiful and sunny outside. And by the time we got up here, it is completely white. <laughs> the snow is coming. Luckily, we are prepared for this kind of weather. However, our view is not really much of view anymore, unfortunately. Anyway, it's supposed to snow basically the rest of the day and all night. Now we're gonna head back down to the village and hop back on the gondola back down to our hotel. Need <laughs> some deep powder over here. We're back in the beginning. It was a beautiful out and back trail, and after we last checked in, it actually cleared up a little bit on our way down, which is really nice. So we got some beautiful views of the mountains. We're really excited to try out some new stuff. I feel like in California, we've seen we've a lot. A lot. We've so almost everything. kind of seeing <laughs> stuff with fresh eyes is really exciting, especially from our perspective. And so far, Snowmass has been gorgeous. It's been so different with all the snow. It's super magical. Mm -hmm. Like. I feel like we don't, our ski resorts that we normally go to are Big Bear, Mammoth. That's about it. This is like yeah. a legit, legit place. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the, the snow here in 
is very different than California snow too. It's like not, long lasting. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like in California, it's like it falls and then it just becomes ice, and the whole trail's ice. This trail was like a little muddy, a little slushy in some parts. But you but didn't need micro spikes. Not you at didn't all. Need snowshoes. I mean, obviously, it depends on the depth of the snow, but. For the last weekend of March, we did not need snowshoes, so yeah, it was nice. super fun. Oh, starting to snow again. We're <laughs> gonna be weather. cruising back to the Limelight Hotel in Snowmass and gonna Hang out hit the cozy, relax, and because we don't normally do that. <laughs> but it looks very the the forecast for the rest of the night is just snowing, so we're, we're gonna not head back. we're gonna head back. <laughs> we don't think that we're gonna get too much of a crazy sunset, but you know, sometimes it's nice to just kick it we don't usually do that so nice little switch up all right we'll see you guys there i'm feeling bougie i've never worn a robe <laughs> once <laughs> i got us matching slippers too from the front desk thank you front desk anyway we are on our way to the, the jacuzzi the koozie okay. is so nice it, <laughs> it's snowing. It's snowing on us. Does it get more magical? Snow plus jacuzzi. plus jacuzzi. Anyway, this is the grub. Oh, it's getting snow on it. <laughs> Giselle got some wine. Happy camper. day two in our Snowmass Colorado trip. And we are enjoying some coffee on our balcony this morning after we got up around sunrise to just mess around a little bit and explore. We went and shot sunrise down in the village and up here on the balcony. And what we've noticed is Snowmass, people don't like to get up early here. So it, we're so used to getting up at like 5 a.m. and hiking two and a half miles to get to a sunrise destination. We were like the first ones awake in the town. Like <laughs> definitely, we didn't see anyone else. And then we went and got breakfast at Juice, which is a little like fresh pressed juice breakfast place. They have bowls it's and sandwiches really good. and super healthy and really, really good. I had an acai bowl that I really liked and some fresh squeezed orange juice. Today on the agenda is we're going to be exploring maroon bells on a snowmobile tour so yeah so we're getting picked up at 10 30 we're going to take a shuttle over to the ranch where they start the tour from so once we do snowmobiling then we're going to come back we are going to go ice skating because there's a little ice skating rink down below our hotel and then there's a firework show later on tonight so that's kind of like the three big things for today but it should be a fun day and we're excited to bring you along we are about to go snowmobiling just checked in and getting ready to go super super fun 
Um, the ice skating ring is free, I think. It just comes in. They like to keep the flow of things going. So we cruised over, got some ice skates, skated around for about an hour. hour, hour and ish. here it seems like the flow of everything is from about 8 a.m. to noon. It's dead. Like there's almost no one here. Everyone kind of takes their time. And then from about noon to four or even it's yeah, packed. noon to four, yeah. it's insane. They have a price ski. They have happy hour um, from three to five at the limelight, which is super nice. Everyone was chilling by the fire pits, having a cocktail while we were ice skating. We were gonna do that, but we just had too much fun ice skating, so we didn't have happy hour. But we're about to go to dinner at Toro. Yes, um, we heard it's fantastic. And then gonna come back, relax, and the fireworks are tonight, so we're really yes. excited about that. Well, we will say too, everything in Snowmax is really close together, which mm -hmm. is so nice. Like, it's a lot. It's a huge area for skiing, but in terms of like other things to do, the hike yesterday was very close to the village. Like we just walked to the um, trailhead. The ice skating rink is literally right outside our hotel, right in the base of the village. Our lunch spot today, the crepe shack, was down there. It's really everything's either right in this base village, or you take the gondola up to the mall area and. It's super, super convenient, especially if you don't have a car. Another thing that we heard from the locals is that the Snowmass Ski Resort or the Snowmass Mountain has the most amount of acres out of all the other ones. There's like Highlands, there's Aspen itself, there is buttermilk, buttermilk and we heard that Snowmass has the best skiing out of all of them. Yeah, so. they said if you go to Snowmass to ski, like stay at Snowmass, but mm -hmm. if you're going for dining or anything like that, Mose around in Snowmass, but you can also have the option of going into Aspen proper. Um, but we're staying in Snowmass and, and love it loving so far. it. Yeah, it's been such a nice little uh, vacation for us. So we're getting off to dinner because our reservation's in 20 minutes, and we will see you there. finished packing up. We're getting ready to go store our bags. We had breakfast at the hotel today. It was pretty good. We had some waffles and we had some yogurt and some eggs and very crispy hash browns. It was lovely. This morning we just cruised around. We wanted to see the beautiful snow mass right around sunrise and now we are going to go snowshoeing. So we're going to go check out of the hotel. Today is sadly our last day here, but so far it's been a great start to the morning. So for the nature walk, we'd really only recommend it if you have some kids and are looking for something else to do or if you're an avid like bird watcher, plant lover. Um, otherwise, you can really just get around with one tour, whether it's there or like when we do snowmobiling, we had a nice little like history lesson there too. If you're looking for something relaxing and fun to do that's not skiing, definitely recommend doing the nature tour. But if you've already done a separate tour, then you probably could pass on it. And we are now on the Elk Camp Gondola and heading up to the Alpine Roller Coaster. Super exciting, it looks really fun. We got a couple rides in, so we'll show you how it goes. We are on the Alpine Coaster now. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! We're on our way up. It's like an automated little five minute ride up, and then we control the rest of the way down with these little hand brakes. We're excited. We, we heard this is one of the best things, so. Here we fun. go. Here we go. the coaster we're headed back down the gondola if you're here in the winter time you should definitely check out the alpine coaster you get tickets down below uh next to the elk camp gondola and you just sign a little waiver and then they give you a little access card that you swipe and then you ride up the gondola and then you swipe it once you're at the top so make sure not to misplace that but it was super fun we just did it twice and we're headed back down and we're gonna grab some food right before we head out 
six and a half hours later. We made it home. Nice and safe. Yes, yeah, so it was a long day of traveling. Such an amazing trip. Really, really stoked we got to explore Snowmass, Colorado. Thank you so much to the Snowmass Tourism Board for inviting us out there and hosting us and giving us all these amazing activities to do. If you guys haven't already felt enticed to go check them out, go check out their website. It's gosnomass.com. Um, and thank you to all the partners that let us stay there. And um, yeah, we absolutely love this trip. We love staying at the Limelight Hotel in Snowmass. We love the snowmobiling, the ice skating, the snowshoeing, the alpine coaster, everything from our stay was absolutely perfect. So if Snowmass is not on your winter bucket list destination, definitely add it. We wanna go back in the summer already and really get to explore the rest of the area. But that's our weekend itinerary and Snowmass for you. We hope you guys really enjoyed. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and- We'll see you guys in the next video.